Okay, so let's talk about the uh, cells with all value in the matrix. So I'm going to summarize the uh, the question. So you are given an n by n matrix, and you need to you need to increment the the row and then column cells based on the indices i. So in this indices i is actually like increment all the cells on row i, increment all the cells on column ci, and in this zero represent row, in this one represent uh, column. I mean, the first one, the first index represent row. The second index represent column. And for the for each value at each uh each specific uh index, it represent the number of rows. So for example, this will be uh, re uh represent row zero column one, and this will represent row one column one again. And uh for the simple way, the simplicity way to code is actually um you you create a two a two array and each array is actually named like row array column array and you actually just add you just, in, you just increment you just increment the, uh, the, the cells and you can actually just return uh the number of the all value in the matrix and in the i mean in the array for sure but um this will actually take a lot of times uh time and space complexity i'm going to code it and show you how it actually uh not a good suggestion to do it for doing this so i have the in uh in array rules i'm going to call uh, uh rules and i'm going to go new int and and uh, in calling to the new int and space n and i'm going to try verse um the in this in this 2d array so i'm going to call it in this array and i'm gonna call it uh i'm gonna call it a and then indices and for each for each zero sorry i increment and then for each column sorry i increment right this is how you actually increment the specific index row in this column and at the end you just say if Double for loop and all right, and then I plus plus for in this j plus zero j less than and j plus plus, and I can just add a number together. So for example, row zero, column zero let represent a zero zero index. Row zero, column one let represent um the zero one index. So I will have to say. Uh, rules at i plus columns at j if that is all number you increment right so i need the return value say in the result and how do you actually define the all number like you can actually say mod 2 right if mod 2 is not equal to 0 you increment the result and you just return result and let's just run it and see if i have any typo or not all right this is how you actually pass the test, but this is not the ultimate solution. So I'll, I'm going to talk about space and time complexity for this question. The space is going to be all of m times n. You need an m, you need an n, right? I mean, it should be m plus n, sorry, m plus n. And also the time complexity is m times n. You need to two for the to traverse that. Right? m times n for the time complexity. m plus n for the space complexity. And this is actually the solution for the one uh for one two five two question, and I will talk about the ultimate solution on the next video. All right, stay tuned.